working with WordPress databases, and especially if you just bought a site um, off somebody and you need to upload the database, uh, there are two ways to do it. The way that I prefer is using PHP My Admin. Um, so you want to create yourself a new WordPress data, new WordPress installation using um, WP Admin. So you're using Fantastico or Simple Scripts or uploading uh, a WordPress directly to your site, whichever you prefer. And then once you've done that, you then open up PHP Admin. You get a screen like this, and then you choose the database that was the one for the. Um, you choose a database that was the one for. You choose a database that you created with the WordPress blog, and in this case, it's this one here, WRDP1. And then what you want to do is you want to select all, check all the tables in that blog, and then with selected, you want to drop them. And you really want to so click yes. And then you want to choose import. And then you want to import the database that you were given um, from wherever you bought the site from. So you choose browse. You go to desktop, date modified. This is one here. And then you just choose go. And it'll import the database for you. And then you'll see the import has been successfully finished, 139 queries ex executed. Then you want to go to users, WP users, and then you'll see here, then you want to click edit, which is this button here. So you want to tick it, then press edit, which is here. And then this is the email address um, of the admin. So if you've been given the password, then you want to. Um, you don't need to worry about this because you just log into your WordPress blog normally. If you haven't been given the password, you need to change that to your email address. In this case, you use justin at niche365.com. And then we'll click Go. And then we'll go to smokenolonger.com, which is the name of this particular site. And we'll see that the whole site has now been imported. Then you want to choose WP admin. Then you don't have the password, you want to choose lost your password. Just choose admin as a username and click get new password and check your email for the confirmation link. So let's do that and then go back to WP admin. And enter your username and password you've been given. So I'm just going to pause this and wait for the emails. And then once you've got your username and password, you can log in, and there you go, you're back inside the, the blog. The only thing you really want to do now is to go back and change the um, user details. So we can go here, and we've got admin justin at um, and we want to change that. Um, so we want to change it to the, uh, the client name, but I'm going to leave that blank. Um, and I'm going to change that when I finish the video. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Hope it was useful.